Welcome to Preferred Barrel Blanks 6.5 Creedmoor Freebore Comparison. In this video, we're going to compare three different freebore options on the 6.5 Creedmoors from 110 freebore, 150, as well as Sammy, which measures out at 199. Also in this video, we are going to use six types of factory ammunition, each with their bullets available as a reloading component. The barrels we're going to be using in this video are a 22 inch 1 to 8 twist 5R rifle in our 900 taperless contour. Each barrel has 3 quarter inch wrench flats. They are a fixed shoulder prefit for an American Rifle Company action and they are set up for a hand tight switch barrel setup. The rifle we are shooting is an American Rifle Company action as well as chassis and we are using a Tracked Optics MRAD ELR rifle scope. The six types of factory ammunition we are going to be using include Hornady ammunition, Berger ammunition, Barnes, and Sierra. First up is the 110 freebore. Let's see how the testing went. On this chart, we can see the factory overall lengths as well as the jump to the lands and the maximum overall length for reloading. The green indicates an optimal jump to the lands Red indicates excessive jamming into the lands, and therefore we are not going to test it with this specific freebore. The first projectile we're going to look at is the Sierra 130 grain Game King. In this freebore, it offers optimal jump and high velocity. Next is the Berger 140 grain. This is the furthest from the lands, but offered very consistent velocities. Hornady 143 grain ELDX Precision Hunter. This is a tipped hunting projectile. It has an optimal jump to the lands, but it also produced the lowest velocities in our testing. Barnes 140 grain Precision Match. This is right on the lands with a consistent performance across the freebores. Here we can see the advertised velocities against the achieved velocities with the standard deviation and the group size. Feel free to pause the video at any point if you want to read the information on the screen. The next barrel we're going to review is the 150 freebore. On this chart, again, the green indicates optimal jump to the lands or being right on the lands, and the gray indicates that it's beyond what we believe is an optimal jump but is still safe to fire in the chamber. For the Sierra 130, we have a 55 thousandths jump. It is losing accuracy while also being the most expensive ammunition tested. The Berger 130 grain is sitting right on the lands, it offers high velocity, and it also rewards you with Lapua brass after being fired. The Berger 140 grain has a 100 thou jump in this chamber, but a good group took multiple tries and we averaged about a half inch. The Hornady 140 grain ELDM is right on the lands and shot an excellent group. Hornady 143 grain ELDX shooting a one hole group, but again with the low velocities. The 140 grain Barnes has an optimal jump, low spreads, and a great group. Again, we can see the average velocity, standard deviation, as well as group size. Now we are moving on to the Sammy chamber, which has a 199 freebore. The Sierra 130 grain game changer is now up to a 100 thou jump, and across our testing, it appears that it shoots better closer to the lands. The 130 grain burger offered a strange velocity in the Sammy chamber with a large spread. The 140 grain burger now is up to a 150 thou jump. It took a few tries for a good group, but overall, great velocity performance. The 140 grain ELDM offered consistent velocity on pace with the other 140 grains. Hornady 143 ELDX again shot one hole and across all of our freebores was the best shooter, yet the lowest velocities. The 140 grain Barnes was a consistent performer across all freebores with good velocities. Here we can see average velocities, standard deviations, and group size. This chart puts all of our testing side by side, separated by each freebore, velocity, standard deviation, and group size. At the bottom of each freebore, we can see the average group size that that freebore offered. 
The 110 freebore offered a .46 average, 150 is a .41 average, the Sammy is a .50 average, and the overall average across three barrels shooting six types of factory ammunition achieved .44 inches. All of our testing was shot at 100 yards. In summary, the 110 freebore brings factory ammo closer to the lands while some ammunition is not compatible. It still offered better performance than our SAMI chamber. The 150 freebore works great with all types of our test ammo. It brought some of the factory ammunition right to the lands. It offered the best groups with consistent velocities. 0.41 average group size across all six types of ammo. While SAMI is the standard chamber, it still shoots great. The furthest distance to the lands on our factory ammunition, if you are reloading and chasing your lands, it will burn out the fastest. Well hey guys, I greatly appreciate you watching this video. Drop a comment of what your thoughts are below. We really appreciate your support. Subscribe while you're here, drop a comment, and we will see you guys in the next one.